Hello YouTube, Flight Sim Guy here. We are back in the Just Flight L1011, uh, approaching cruise on our way to DC. I figured I'd go ahead and get this video started a little bit sooner than planned so that we can uh, check out some other features of this uh, terrific aircraft. Um, in case you have noticed, Captain Sim versus Just Flight, my money is on Just Flight. I mean, engine sounds better, it looks better, uh, and the flight dynamics feels more fluid. It still feels like a really, really big plane, like a jumbo, which it is. Um, it just feels more natural. Now, the last time I flew this thing, I got in trouble because of fuel. Pounds times 1,000. So there's 19,000 pounds in tank 1. 19,000 pounds in tank 2. These are the two main tanks. So that's 40,000 pounds, or almost 40,000 pounds in the main tanks, which is all I really need. Unfortunately, these tanks are for the left and right engines. I'm going to need the third engine also, which gets its fuel from this tank, which has 99,000 which has 9,099, which has uh, 10,000 pounds, and over here 10,000 pounds. So uh, we'll see. I know I, I won't run out of fuel for the main left and right tanks, um, and I didn't put any fuel in the center tanks. Look at this. Uh, it just occurred to me there is communication panel back here. This is obviously for the uh, for the uh, flight engineer. Let's go back. Alright, we are approaching AIR. Next VOR is MGW 111.6. So what we need to do is switch to heading. 111.6. And there it goes. Let's go ahead and tune them up. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn. It's going to go ahead and get us on course. Now we're pretty much on top of it, 46 miles. So the next VOR station is going to be MRB, which is 112.1, heading 101. So let's go ahead and tune this up, and we'll go ahead and switch to nav. And here you can tell what your various modes are. All right, we've got a crosswind going here. How do I know? Well, the track this we have to fly this so there's a what, 30 degree difference right there so the plane is crabbing its way to uh, stay on course that is pretty impressive okay we got another red light Auto ground spoiler in up. Okay, that's because I turned off my direct lift control. The direct lift control in this plane simply doesn't work. If it does, I don't know how to fly it. So, go. F. All right, so here's the deal the distance between <coughs> MRB and DCA is 50 miles, and I am 54 miles. I'm MRB, so I'm about 104 miles from DCA. Cruising at 31,000 feet. Uh, I want to start my descent at about. Normally, I'd come down about now, but I'll start my descent at about 90 miles. So we'll wait for this to get to 40. And we're not going to go straight to DCA. We're going to go ahead and go to uh, the AML VOR, which is the VOR on station at Dallas. That is 113.5, and then from there, fly heading. 112 
for 21 nautical miles to get to Reagan National. So once I uh, settle in over Dulles, I can go ahead and uh, tune the ATIS at Reagan National and get a runway assignment. Now let me go ahead and uh, dial in the ATIS right now. 132.65 There we go. This radio is active. And we are 93 miles out. So, should be getting my ATIS momentarily. Let's go ahead and bring her down. There we go. All right, let's come on down. Let's bring this back to about 27, 265 should be fine. And we want vertical, sp oh, actually, let's dial in my lower altitude first. Let's take it down to 10,000 feet. Arm and vertical speed vertical speed there we go and we want still want to do localizer VOR and we in vertical speed mode we are coming down alright let's go ahead and get my landing speed 128 Actually, let's see what this says. Uh, our weight is actually down here. And, uh, yep, here it is right here. 128. So, it's good they have that reference right there. Alright, so we're coming on down. To 10,000 feet. We are almost at MRB. The next uh, VOR station is going to be the one on the field at Dulles, which is uh, KIAD. And that is the AML VOR 113.5. So we'll take this to 113.5 right when we are almost on top of it. Okay, AML 113.5, let's go ahead and put its heading, maintain our current direction, 113.5, and there we go, let's tune them up, heading 150, let's go ahead and make that turn, right there, and go back to nav. There we go. We're Twenty one thousand feet. How many miles away? Thirty three miles, five minutes. Um Wow awfully close. Alright, this is what we're going to have to do. We need to inc increase our vertical speed a little bit. There. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, you're getting a little bit choppy with me, buddy.
engines have virtually idled. But I need to do this to uh, get down in time. According to this, I'm going to be over DCA in 4 minutes. And I'm just 18,000 feet. Now if I'm too high, all I need to do is, I can burn off as much altitude as I need on my downwind. Uh, thought I saw some lightning there. Coming into some clouds here. Might have some turbulence to deal with. Oh shit. Icing. Damn it. Lost my airspeed. go. Okay, all the throttle coming off. Okay, I have to turn off the auto throttle. Because of the icing, I lost my airspeed. I turned on the icing system, so hopefully it'll come back shortly. Here, thunder. Okay, we're 13 miles, heading 112 to head towards Reagan National. Whoa! Easy there, buddy. Easy. How does all this weather come from? So we picked, flew into some bad weather. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Turning off the auto, turning off the, uh, the autopilot. I just need to get out of this bad weather. Okay, I just need to get the hell out of this situation. need to get out of this altitude. My airspeed is alive. That's just good. I just need to get out of here. 112. Yeah, that's fine. Idle my engines. I just need to get out of this bad weather. There we go. Not worried about the uh, vertical speed. I just need to get out of this bad weather. Okay. Okay, my engines are still good. Man, the weather turned bad really fast. Um. Reagan National over there. All right. Looks like we made it through the bad weather. All right. Runway one nine. Uh, come on. The visual thing here. I think that's around the airport right there. 
All right. Bring the engines back. Let's go ahead and call. There it is right there. Jesus. Traffic runway one. Uh, all right. At this point, folks, I'm winging it. So they changed the active runway. Runway one has an ILS. Um, I'm going to go on a downwind here. We're still pretty high. That's fine. Here is runway one, I believe. Yeah, that's it. So what we're going to do, the MSA it down here is about 4,000 feet, so let's go ahead and get straightened out. Runway 1 is right here. So I'm doing my downwind now. Let's go ahead and dial in 5,000 or 4,000 feet. go. Alright. Let's get our heading straightened out. Okay. Turn on the pilot. Heading. And we want vertical speed. Turn this back down to about 190. Come on. Don't do this. read the damn thing. Vertical speed. Okay, vertical speed. There. Alright. Five thousand. Bring us back. There. Alright. Okay. Alright, did I miss the airport? Where the hell's the airport? Oh man. How the hell can I lose a freaking airport? Well, evidently I did. I have the airport in my sights and then bam, it's gone. Alright. One notch flaps. Flaps full. Okay. <sighs> Alright, runway one. 109.9 There we go. There's an ILS. It's way below us. We'll just go ahead and wait for this to come up. And it bothers me that I lost a perfectly good airport. Airport should be behind me somewhere. Where is it? Uh, there it is right there. Here is my runway. Runway 1. Let me check the log. Left traffic, one way. 1. Okay, cool. And what's my altitude? 4,000 feet. Let's come down. Go. 
arm. What do we got here? We are nine miles from the ILS. This should be increasing. Yep, there it is. And once this get up to ten, we'll go ahead and take it in. Just go ahead and uh, make a teardrop entry. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. Let's come out a little bit. Here the glide slope is coming up, which is perfect. Alright, now let's straighten up again. There. Alright, bring the speed back. I don't think this has a flap schedule. Not that of a reference flap schedules. I just make it up as I go along. Well, flaps one. Flaps ten. Flaps ten. Where Sarah landing was. Oh, uh, one thirty something. Okay. All right, we're in business, folks. We are in business. It's coming up. We'll wait until this is at the top, which is going to be about 16 miles. Alright. Now, <coughs> to fly the glide slope in, I'm going to have to, once I need to uh, lock into the, the, uh, the localizer, do that, and then approach hold right there. And I should be good. All right, let's go ahead and make our turn. can just do an insert the uh, ILS. Let's go ahead and slow down some more. There it goes. Always overshooting the, the, uh, the localizer. That's fine. Then we want that to capture the localizer. There we go. And then once I've captured, I'll lower the gear and we're good. Many thanks to the people at Envtex and Envshade. If it wasn't for their product, I wouldn't be able to do this. Scenery for DC, based on what I bought, is simply too damn complex. All right, here we go. Getting lined up. Gear down. Gear down. Gear down and locked. Gear down and locked. One more notch of flaps. Flaps 18. And let's go ahead and arm approach hold. There we go. And we should be locked in. Are we? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's bring 
the speed back. Okay, we're locked in on the localizer. Now I'm going to try the auto land. Let's check out my flap schedule. 18, I got two more notches. And we're on a perfect approach. Okay, where's my landing clearance? Thank you. See how we look on the outside? Perfect approach, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect approach. All right, coming down at about 850 feet per minute. A little bit, little bit fast, but tolerable. Okay, this arm, the spoilers. Let's make sure they didn't pop out. Okay, there's my landing clearance. At 1,000, I'll give it to flaps 22. Thirty-three. There we go. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Minimums. Minimums. That was my best landing ever. <laughs> Could have done worse. All right. Alright, so that wasn't my best landing ever. I could have done worse. So, I want to say that's Trump's airplane right there. Oh, spoilers are still up. Yep, there's Trump's plane right there. I guess I could pull up next one. Flaps up. Flaps 22. Flaps 18. Flaps 4. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Or I can just pull in right here. Yeah, this um, this Reagan uh, scenery is pretty intense, and normally it's virtually unflyable. Fr frames are bad, but since I've installed NVTEX and NVShade, it works. You know, you guys ought to be paying me for all the free promotion I've been given. All right, there are no gates available, so what's my plan? Um, I'm just gonna have to park right here. There are no gates available. Alright, this is my third or fourth flight in the L-1011 and I have a hard time landing trijets. I'm just going to leave it at that. I have a hard time landing trijets because um, 
And you know the MD80, the MD80, the MD11. Uh, the landing speed for that thing is inc is very fast, and there've been two crashes where you know pilots lost control when they're when they're on the flare landing. So, landing trijets is a uh, very tricky business for some reason. Did not realize that. All right, so since I can't find a place to park, there are no parking spots. I'm just gonna have to leave it right here and then call it a day. But yeah, if you want an L1011 to add to your collection, go Just Flight. Captain Sim, eh? Just Flight is what you want. This thing sounds better, looks better, and the flight dynamics I think is more spot on. So. All right, I'm not going to bother bore you with the, uh, the power down. That's all I have for now. Um, hope you guys found this video enjoyable. I know I had a good time with this flight. My name is Flightsome Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.